Hi, I'm Melinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to be talking to you about vitamin C in formulations and what is the best form to use for the longest stability. Now vitamin C is of course excellent for a multitude of benefits. It's skin lightening, but it's also fantastic antioxidant activity within the skin. It also helps protect and restore against UV damage and also has anti-acne properties. It's also collagen stimulating, so it's an all-round amazing vitamin if you can keep it stable in your formulation. Now, many of you would know that ascorbic acid is of course vitamin C. It's a very commonly used form, but it's also the most unstable form. So I'm going to put different vitamin C forms to the test and show you the results. In these tests, I'm going to be using ascorbic acid, ethyl ascorbic acid, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, and a silicon coated form of ascorbic acid. Now for each of these products, I've used the equivalent input of 3% vitamin C, so each product has the equivalent amount added of vitamin C, and I've also pH adjusted each of these very basic serum products to suit the material based on the supplier's recommendations. In other words, I've put them in the most favourable base possible in equivalent amounts so that you can see a real apples for apples comparison. Now I put each of the water soluble forms of vitamin C into a simple gel base and the oil soluble form into a simple oil serum base. So it's really not the base that matters here other than I've made it very compatible. The first review we're going to look at is those stored at four degrees. So this is ascorbic acid stored at four degrees. This is the ethyl ascorbic acid stored at four degrees. This is the magnesium ascorbyl phosphate at four degrees. And this is the silicon coated vitamin C at four degrees. And you can see that over a period of six weeks, they've all maintained very good stability. Next, I put the exact same samples under light and 30 degree storage conditions for six weeks. You can see here that the ascorbic acid has degraded. Here is the ethyl ascorbic acid and it's maintained its stability very well. The magnesium ascorbyl phosphate also maintains stability very well. And the silicon coated material also very stable. I also put some of these very basic gel serums into the dark. In the dark, the ascorbic acid also degraded over that six week period. While the ethyl ascorbic acid, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate and silicon coated vitamin C all maintained very good stability. Finally, just to really challenge these samples, I put them in an incubator for six weeks at 40 degrees as well. This is the ascorbic acid. It has not held up at all, and that's just over a six week period. This is the ethyl ascorbic acid. It has degraded, but this was in 40 degrees conditions. So too with the magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. It has degraded, but again, under really testing conditions. And the silicon coated material has maintained really good stability. So those results one more time. Here is the ascorbic acid when stored at four degrees, stored in the dark at 30 degrees, stored in the light at 30 degrees, and stored at 40 degrees over a six week period. Here is the magnesium ascorbyl phosphate at four degrees, in the dark at 30 degrees, in the light at 30 degrees, and when stored at 40 degrees in an incubator over a six week period. The ethyl ascorbic acid at four degrees, in the dark at 30 degrees, the light at 30 degrees, and in the incubator at 40 degrees. And finally, the silicon coated material at four degrees, 
in the dark at 30 degrees, in the light at 30 degrees, and when stored at 40 degrees. So there you have it, an apples for apples comparison of different forms of vitamin C in their most compatible environments. Just so you can be sure, here's a table summarising the storage conditions and the pH optimization of those base formulas. So there's just one more thing you're going to ask and that is what was my favourite? Well definitely from the results in a water-based product I'm choosing magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. And then in an oil-based product I'm using the Biogenics Vita C. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I've done the comparisons for you to make your formulating job easier to ensure a very stable and efficacious delivery of vitamin C in your next developments. Happy formulating!